What's going on, everybody? Uh, we're going to take a little standard break and do this. Uh, we're going to do some Corset 2020 drafting. <clears throat> and I want to thank Wizards of the Coast for uh, sponsoring this stream, this video, whatever you guys want to call it. Let's switch it to this. And uh, is it just Rotting Regisaur? Hmm, that's a good card. Hmm. 7 6 seems like it's hard to deal with, but I. The problem is. Your forms of card advantage in limited are not nearly as similar to your forms of card advantage in constructed. So. Being able to discard. Not being able to, but having to discard a card every single turn. It's not ideal. You could just wait until your hand is empty, sure. But then we're missing out. Like, then it might as well just be a 7 drop, right? Like, if you're just waiting until your hand is empty, you might as well just play it on turn 6 or 7. So it's really no better than, like, you know, Scaled Worm or something at that point. Whereas, like, I think Silverback Shaman for 2 more mana is probably just better. Thrashing Bronton on is probably a better 3 drop. <coughs> Reduced to Ash is pretty good. What colors do we even like in this format? I don't know. Is it easy, Registrar? Is it easy, Registrar? That's the question, man. You know what? I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. We're going to see what happens. <clears throat> Chandra, Pyromancer, Novice Pyromancer, Elementals, and... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's pretty good. <clears throat> but, like you guys mentioned, I am sticking with Audacious Thief here because... Because that does fill up our hand for the Rotting Regisaur. Blood for Bones could be pretty good here. Getting back a Regisaur is no joke. Multiple Regisaurs is probably better than one. I like a Vengeful Warchief. I'm just going to take the most powerful black cards until we don't, until we're unable to do so. Okay, so now we are unable to do so, it seems like. Scampering Scorcher, not bad. Fairy Miscreant, that's all right. Zaichi, what's going on, buddy? Good to see you, sir. Good to see you, sir. I'm going to take Scampy Boys. Oh, another Blood for Bones and another Warchief. And a two-drop bird grabber. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think it's probably... I do like Warchief a lot. Oh, Dragon Mage. That's interesting. Yeah, I think we're just taking Dragon Mage. I don't know if we're going to play it. Like, I'm, I'm really on the fence about giving my opponent five new cards. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's that's probably nothing. Uh, I mean, this is this is actually unblockable is actually relevant in this format. This part's pretty grindy. I like Epicure. I don't like Epicure. I like Thick Crasher and I like Mammoth Spider. We already have two five drops. But there's, I don't think this is worth a black card, and I I think. Yeah, I don't know. Giving your opponent seven cards and just hoping your seven cards are better than their seven cards is pretty iffy. I don't know. Maybe it's Manifold Key. Like, giving Unblockable is not terrible. Especially if we have Rotting Registrar. Like, that's a pretty crazy clock. I'm going to take the Reduce to Ash here. Uh, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat. Right, the odds that it draws your opponent back into the game are too high. Right, like giving your opponent seven cards and then just hoping that, that they didn't draw something that just kills you is pretty bad. I don't know who everyone is that says it's a bomb, but I, I would disagree with them. Oh, two Woodland Champions. Right, now I put you over here. Agent of Treachery. Ooh, that's a reason to go into blue here. So is Air Elemental. 
We got a mo piranhas that we would actually play, I imagine. Agent of Treachery seems great. Maybe the air elemental tables. It's actually not impossible. It's not likely. It's not impossible though. I, think I like bone splinters over mask of immolation. It keeps us black. Uh, Mike does not work today, but he also made no plans to to stream with us. So. Ooh, Vivian Arcbow Ranger. What in the earth? I can feel a crazen in my tooth right now. And it's frustrating me. Wow, that's a third pick Vivian? I might just take it because it's a mythic, man. I mean, let's be real. Human beings love passing good cards, too. Hmm. Yeah, this card seems... This is too good to, to pass here. I'm not going to pass a Planeswalker here. <clears throat> two Woodland Champions, too, which are two twos for two at the very least. And if we get token producers, then we're... Scuttlebutt could be decent. Let's us splash red cards. I don't know, man. We're getting a lot of mixed signals here. <clears throat> which is fine. Which is totally okay. I think it's Rabbit Bite if we want to stick with this Vivian. She has a Planeswalker, but she's triple red as well. Or triple green, rather. Thank you. Planeswalker Academy, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. So I'm leaning towards Scuttlemutt, Rabbit Bite, or Silverback Shaman. I'm pretty sure it's either Rabbit Bite or Scuttlemutt. I'm gonna go with Scuttlemutt. I feel like we're not. It's a good looking island. That island looks fantastic. Wow. I've never seen such a thing. Sanitarium Skeleton. Not bad. It does lots of things. Listen to that crunch. Uh, finger crushing netcaster spider. Both these are pretty decent. I'm probably more for the netcaster spider because I like having reach in this format. A good deal. Thank oh, you. Another one. Oh, Kerwit, what's going on, my dude? <clears throat> well, gotta gotta translate that, I guess. Um. Let's see what we got here. It's already 16 months. Wow. It sure is, buddy. I want to take this Pulse of Marasa. That's a good card. Hey, look at Thicker Crasher. And a Wolfkin Bot. I don't, I don't dislike Wolfkin Bot. I'll just take Thicker Crasher. Or Blade Brand. Actually, let's take the Blade Brand. We have a Sanitarium Skeleton. We can make it. <clears throat> got a package. It's here. Um... The rest is fine. Another Pulse of Marasa? Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. He was expecting something crazy and it was boring. That's true. That's exactly what happened. Let's get rid of the red cards. I don't think the red is very good. I do like the Agent of Treachery. But it's double blue. Of course, we're... Look at, look at this Sultai. I'm just going to take Pulse number two. I think Overcome is, I mean, it's for sure a neuter to overrun, but it might still be good enough. Maybe. Gift of Paradise is nice because it allows a cast agent of treachery immediately, just straight up. What up, Josh? Joshy boy? I mean, we kind of want early creatures just to be able to put counters on things, right? Centaur Courser could be, uh,. How do I see my deck? Like, I'm trying to click on this and it's not working. I just want to see how many creatures I have without having to manually count them. How do I do that? Okay. Is it... 
Is it an option? It was like medium. I went 5.8 or something. I like, I appreciate the honesty though. You're like, you know what? It wasn't that great. I think it's just Rakdos, man. I think Rakdos is just hard to, it's not in a great position right now. I think it's just Centaur Courser here. I think Undead Servant's fine, but unless you get multiple Undead Servants, it's not ideal. Also Sedge Scorpion I could see taking. I'm gonna take the Courser for now. Dungeon Geists. Interesting. Dungeon Geist and Agent of Treachery are both pretty good. Dungeon Geist is pretty good. I don't know how we're casting these things. We have Scuttlemutt. I guess we could try to look out for for dual lands and try to get Gift of Paradise. I think that's probably our best option here. <laughs> Howling Giant is fantastic. I will take it over an Audacious Thief. Gift of Paradise. Yes, let's do that. If we can get two Gift of Paradise, I'm going to feel a lot better about the Dismal Backwater. All right. All right. Evolving Wilds. Also an option. Aether Gust. Yeah, we'll just take the Evolving Wilds. Jungle Hollow. Okay. Eh, Might of the Masses comes back. Sure. Gifts of Paradise came back. Looking good. Looking good. None of these. I actually, Octo Prophet's fine. Let's take Cerulean Drake. Let's take Cerulean Drake. Okay, not bad, not bad. 43 cards, we need three cuts. Soul Mender, you can go. Uh, Manifold Key, I don't think is good enough. Interesting, Registrar. Do we have any blue cards that we want to include? Any black cards or green cards? Woodland Champion, probably just better than you. Actually, do we have any tokens whatsoever? I don't think so, actually. If we have no tokens, then the Vigilance is just better for sure, unfortunately. I have Howling Giant. Yeah, I think that's probably better. Blood for Bones. Sacking a terrible creature to get back, like, something good seems pretty decent. I think the Overcome out. I don't think Overcome is... Can you show me how many creatures I have now? 15? All right, I like it. So we have one, two, three, seven, seven black sources, four, five, six blue sources, and six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six is not bad. I'm gonna actually cut an island. I'm gonna add a green, I think. Actually, Portal seems good with a bunch of cards. Like, <clears throat> it's good with Agent. It's good with Howling, uh, Howling Giant. It's, I guess that's probably all it's good with, to be honest with you. We have Double Pulse and Blood for Bones. We have a lot of ways to get creatures back. Four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. I think it's just eight, eight. I think I feel better about 8-8. Eight, eight. Alright, I don't know if this I don't know if this deck is very we do have double blue cost, but if we can get one gift of paradise, which we have two of, um then we we only have like three blue cards, so I'm not really super concerned about having eight seven or eight swamps. Or, uh seven or eight islands. Sure, this is fine. 
Oh, Emerson Klein. Look who it is. Oh my god. I mean, so here's the thing. If we don't block, they have a trick, obviously. So, that's a good trick. That's a good trick to have. Thanks for playing that Simic Flash deck the other day. I've been enjoying playing Irene a whole lot. Can't wait to build the black-white side. The black-white the black -white deck was pretty fun. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, just play thief here. Come on, Sonster, what's going on, buddy? So this is five, six, seven, eight. We go to four. I guess we're going to four. Eventually, there's going to be. Yeah. All right. Let's. We're done. <laughs> I mean, I almost feel like we're a 16 land deck because we do have Scuttlemutt and 2 Gift of Paradise, so we should 20 mana sources. It's 5, 6, 7, 8, 6, 7, 8, 9, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, there's only. S I was just making sure there's enough lands in the deck, or not not too many lands, rather. Cerulean Drake seems great. We can get Woodland Champion and. Um. Let's get Cutthroat out of here, bring in 2 Drakes. first. Yeah, 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 I'll keep it because any green source is fine and we have an Octo Profit, so. I mean, we don't have a place till turn four, but we have two seven drops, which are very, very good.
Oh, well, that's not coming down anytime soon. Okay, well, we're going to keep... What are we doing next turn? Next turn, we don't have any plays. So that's not going to help. So we go draw this, we play it. We have five mana. Then we draw this, we play this. Yeah, this is fine. We want the green. Next turn, we're not going to have anything to do, but that's fine. The Simic deck is a bit of fun police, but in a standard form where Esper Control rules the day, I feel like that's some fun I'm willing to police. That's exactly how I felt about it, actually. I was like, you know what? This is more controlling than the Esper deck, but it feels less oppressive. It's just a one-for-one one deck. Hey, you got a you got a spell? I'm a counter. You got a spell? I'm a counter. it. I'm going to play a 2-2. Two -two. I'm going to play a 2-1. Uh, I'm not even going to attack here, because if they... If they have like plus two, plus two. We're in a situation where any land here is just fantastic, so... So I'm pretty sure we're actually just blocking here because I don't want to take uh, 6,000 damage. And then we can actually pulse gain 5. Or we can block here. We'll let them use their tricky trick. Boy, that's something, isn't it? I'm sorry, return. Target. Oh, I have to target something. Wow, that's terrible. Yep, that's really bad. Alright, well. So we're gonna go block, block. Or block. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Scuttlebutt's dying either way. Cavalier Thorns is a hell of a card. <laughs> what do you got? We got two seven drops? Oh, here's a jungle holly, you stupid idiot. Oh, thanks. That's great of you. Just great.
five, six. I'm just doing this for the mana. Or for the life, rather. Well, we'd actually gain two, right? Oh, plus our planeswalkers because we have a planeswalker too. Wow. These draws are spectacular. Never, I've never, they've never had a dead draw. This actually turns the game around a little bit. Oh, and they ordered incorrectly as well. That was actually great for us. But they can put the Ajani back on top, I guess. Put Uncaged Fury back on top too, deal four with this guy. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Love it. My favorite. Oh, the concession. Woo! Got him. Got him. That's the thing right there. Not realizing that the howling giant has reach. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. With, we've seen Uncaged Fury. We've seen Feral uh, Invocation. And we've seen a Johnny. I feel like duress is actually not terrible here. My god. You're on ground zero. Crawling through the phone. <laughs> I have a feeling Emerson Klein Gaming is going to hop into the chat when, when when this match is over. Unless he's here now watching. Are you sniping Emerson Klein? You better not. I think we're good. Cerulean Drake also seems great in this matchup. Don't like it. 
like it a lot better. We can get rid of one forest here, I think. Oh, they went to 6-2? Alright, feeling good. Feeling good. Wow, Sanitarium Skeleton is amazing against this board here. For sure. This guy never gets through. You're always like, brawler, and they're always like, no. And then you're always like, biscuits. So we can't play anything, right? We can play Pulse, we can get back Skeleton. We can get back Skeleton and play Skeleton, I guess. I think that's worse than Gift of Paradise, though. Yikes. Here comes Cavalier. Oh no, they got they got Tap Land that turn. Oh, alright. Oh, that was terrible. I wanted to see what we drew before we played this, but that was stupid. Like, you know, if we draw something better, I don't know what we could have drawn. It might have just been worth the counter. It's probably worth the counter. Oh, unblockable and then attack for four? That's pretty good. That's good. It's very good. It's all life gain here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go down to four, play this on something net one. So it's a five. Pretty sure it's just Howley Boy. blocking everything because I think we're just dead actually to un oh they actually don't have mana for uncaged fury so thank you Leovold thank you so much for the reset buddy really appreciate it welcome back seven twelve thirteen fourteen I was like okay I think we're good right oh nor any cards yeah that's a good point too that's actually, uh, that's harder to get around. Sometimes just got no cards. Well, I like our deck. It seems cool, so. hand's pretty, pretty rough. Oh, this hand's great. Keep it. 
I want to put the blade burn back because I think vengeful is nice. Uh, it's a nice, nice little top end there. Okay, well that's. I'm gonna get a blue because we have the most green sources in our deck, and we also have a blue card, not a green card, and we also have scuttle mud, so. Remember that one time you got into a dance battle with the mouse that lives under your under your sink? I don't actually remember that. How long ago was that? <laughs> We're in a cape. You're so weird, dude. Oh man, I love it. Uh, so like, I was I was thinking like, well, if we get a blue, it's really gonna be really hard to cast Vivian Reed, and then of course we draw Vivian Reed. Although if we draw another land, we get to play War Chief into War Chief. That is not a land. Two rounds, two Mythic Johnnies. Totally reasonable. Oh boy. Hmm. If we can draw a green source, we can go Vivian fight a Johnny, which seems pretty good. Oh, it deals damage. It's not even fighting. So we can actually... No, we can't fight this because this is going to be a 5-5. Five, five. I, I was also wondering why they didn't just make another Johnny there and go to 1. Two Pride Mates seems pretty strong. Yeah, well, we're not blocking this. This is the this is the inverse pride mate. <laughs> He's a shame mate. He's like, oh, I took some damage. All right, I guess I'll get a little bigger. What is this? Sure, I'll take three. Whatever. Well, we're really hoping for a green source so we can play this Vivian. That was really what our plan relied on. Fascinating.
No blocks. No attacks, I guess. Alright. Nope, not what we're looking for. Three, four. I guess we're going to try to find... Oh, yes, yes, pay, use both of my... Yes, use both of my black sources. That's exactly what I want you to do. Nope and nope. Two nopes. Alright, well, we're going for one, uh... We want a green source, so we can, so we can, so we can get our fights on. Surprise Pikachu was right. Oh, come on, green source. Daddy needs a green source. Yep. So now, next time, they can ultimate this. What's all this then? That's just, this is like the second time you've said what's all this then in like two days. <laughs> what are you, British? What's all this then? Eh? What's all this then, huh? I said it more calmly. To okay. Well, that's, that's different then. Oh, one, two, three, one. Oh, we can do it. No, do not tap this green. I swear to God. I swear to God. Oh, I guess we have to tap the green, don't we? But we put it over here. Wait, what just happened? What's going on? Okay, this is fine. Ooh, resolve. Now it's at six, though. No! How do we how do we take damage? This is a yikes for me, dog. This is so unfortunate, because now it's at six. From deer to dinosaurs. They only have one creature that's actually good here. They go two, two, one, one, one. Oh boy. I don't know if this is any good. Tapping the green is not what father... That's true. Don't ever tap the green. Father hates that. We should not have played this first, but... You know. What are you going to do? Yep, this is a... 3-3 on 3-3. 1 on 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I don't think plusing first is a must at all. If we plus on this guy, they just block with the O1. It doesn't have trample or anything. Like it's... It gives trample? Oh, they're at 28 though. So oh, both of these guys live and they're at 28. Huh. That was... Well, that was something. Seven, eight, nine. Okay. Um, so she goes to five. They're going to have to attack with this guy. Target you control. Hit Johnny. That works surprisingly well. I did not expect that to go that way. Ben, I'm just eating. Thought I'd try to arena summon D2 arena and getting absolutely crushed. How the starter stuff, so not much in the way of cards. But nearly every I'm playing is like turn one rare land, turn two rare land, and turn rare creature, then chains. Oh, uh, that's probably normal, mostly because, I mean, like, people just have had time to collect, like, play stuff, you know, like, to have, to have things. I'm surprised these are both still alive. 
I mean, we lose our Vivian. And unfortunately, Pulse of Marasa cannot get a Vivian back, but... This guy's really, uh... Not ideal. And they're back at 35. So they just attack with this, but then we can actually kill Gideon, so... Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually play Thief and keep up Pulse. Oh god, I wish we could get Vivian back. That'd be great. Wait, why is it highlighting like four? Oh, because it's in the graveyard still. Okay, so we're just going to play Thief and get back Skeleton. Or we can get back Warchief. I love subpar cards like Healer of the Glade where they're like, well, it goes well with my Johnny's Pride Mate, I guess. Yeah, we want Sanit Sanitarium Skeleton back because we want to just start being able to block this guy. Whereas, like, we're not going to do that with War Chief. Well, no tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have technically seven mana. You're definitely coming down. Blood for Bones seems pretty okay. Sack Skeleton, get back War Chief Octo Prophet. The Pride Mate seems like he's got a belt and a little sash on underneath the belt, and that's pretty much it. Nothing? Well, that's interesting. So we have one, two, three, four, five mana. So I can play you and still keep up Pulse, which seems pretty okay. We can also keep up Skeleton. You might say it's a kitty lion cloth. <laughs> oh, God. Thankfully, this guy does not have Trample, or else we'd be dead. Right? Okay. Guy's getting real out of hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Hunter does play Arsenal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 mana. So we can go... We're definitely playing Skeleton here. Probably just playing Spider and Pulse. Or getting back Skeleton again. 
Because the 4-4 four four gets blocked by 2-3-2-2, two, 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 and it's a pretty solid trade for us. Yeah, email Hunter for Hearthstone tips. He's very good at the game. Oh, biscuits. Biscuits. Eh, I wasn't expecting that. I think it's probably Blood for Bones. They do basically the same thing. They're both getting a creature back. Uh, each opponent exile the card from their hand. Resolve. Submit you. That's sad. Blood is two guys, but you have to sacrifice a guy. I mean, we can sacrifice Sanitarium Skeleton, sure, but, I mean, it's a lot of resources. I don't think that's nothing. We got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're just going to pass the blockers. Uh, we have, like, one trigger for the champion. Another gift of paradise. All right. It's just another gift of paradise for you and me. Gift of paradise. So if we use this, we got three, we have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, sure. I don't know why Thief is still alive. I was wondering that myself. Just taking eight here. Okay. Did they accidentally tap incorrectly and they use all their black mana? Oh wow, that's that's fortuitous. That was not what I expected. All right, man, this skeleton is working overtime. Man, I was worried we'd have to use our Fathom Fleet Cutthroat on that guy. I'd much rather use it on one of these guys. Pacifism on that guy. Yep, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Fascinating. Man, again, they got rid of the Woodland Champion instead of the Netcaster Spider, which is infinitely better for us. Man, oh man. That's pretty good. What do you got? One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Actually, we'll just attack with you. And then we're going to pulse back uh, Vengeful War Chief here. Twelve to eighteen now, and our board is significantly better. Six life and a creature is no joke. Yep, that's gonna finish it off. Yep. 
Is this a brew or a draft? Dear God, if this is a Fathom Fleet Cutthroat Howling Giant Sanitarium Skeleton brew, I would feel bad. Oh, interesting. Maybe the game is not as over as I, I, I presumed. Well then. Looks like the ground is once... Yep, okay. <laughs> that's, yep, that's pretty good. That's awkward. Man, Agent of Treachery is no joke. Neither is Howling Giant, I guess. Okay, so... I feel like we're ahead. We won the game. Are they red? No. Do they have a planeswalker? Yes. Do we kind of want to get rid of it? A little bit. Oh, man. We have not seen Reggie yet. We don't have grasp? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? Grasp of darkness? Noxious grasp? No. I mean, it's uncommon. It's not like it's... Ugh. Actually, Portal's not terrible. I agree with that. And it just resets all our cool effects. I'm actually going to go into 16 lands. And if we can bounce like an Octo Prophet or something, it's still fine. If we can bounce our own Agent of Treachery, our Howling Gentleman. Well, you go down to 16 lands, you know what happens. Wow, this is a keeper. You can put a swamp back. Today, Junior. Oh, you heard I was going to with Lorwyn packs. Let me toss some Lorwyn packs into the into the old 
the old shebop. Get them while they're hot. Get your low in packs here. Uh, forest. Uh, island. Don't play anything. A germ token. Unbelievable. Old scuttly mutt. Scoodle moots. Again with the pacifism? This is unbelievable. This is just super rude. attack here if I just actually want to wait like I don't want I don't want her to take two I think this is good like this I think we're just gonna wait oh yeah we can still fight with Ventral but I'm not like this is not, it's not fighting it's it's just dealing damage so I wasn't concerned about killing this because then they can just equip it like it's not I'd rather just make one creature bigger when there's no pressure on Vivian. I don't want to... I'm only going to get to use this once before I have to activate her two more times. So if they play a bigger creature, it's just... Oh, that's that's okay. Well, our whole hand is get back creatures. And, uh... Yeah. It is, but we have to sacrifice it, so... Oh, boy. I'm actually tempted to just play this naturally right now. I'd get out of the way if I were you. The Scuttlemont's pretty huge, dude. Man, I really wish I had Vigilance. Vigilance would be a totally different game right now. I also really wish I had a creature. Okay, bunch of different bunch of different equipments. I do like big mutts and I cannot lie. I'm actually tempted to blade brand here, but I don't know if it's worth it. Casual five five flyer. Stomping time. Man, this Vivian reads at eight. I'm pretty sure in the context of limited, Vivian Reed is much stronger than 
than this idiot. No offense to you, idiot. But Johnny's wonderful, but... Don't I just kill him? Isn't he just dead? He's just dead. You have a one mana spell that can target this guy? Well, we have no tokens, but that's still a body. We're fit enough to survive. Yeah, so there Johnny was like, I'll gain four life, five life, and that's it. This game is so over that it's okay. <laughs> I was like, man, this is ambitious. Vivian Reed's a hell of a card. It's actually not Vivian Reed, it's Vivian of the Arkmo, or, you know, whatever her name is. I don't know her name. Vivian Arkbo Champion. Oh yeah, this is keeper. Snap keeper. Oh, that's a keeper. I'm a big fan of this mulligan roll. Being able to ship your seven drop in your in your opener is pretty nice. This is a hand we could theoretically dump pretty easily. And then get a Reggie down. Or we could just play Reggie next turn. Vivian Reed giving Reggie tramples pretty pretty nuts. So we can go next turn we're gonna discard this, play this and this, discard this, play Vivian. That's what we're looking like here. And then Vivian L L Vivian giving trample on on this guy is actually insane. And I don't think a red blue deck is gonna have a tremendous away a tremendous amount of ways to deal with this guy. That's our plan. Uh, we'll play that instead. This is a good turn. This is a great turn. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. I'll discard the swamp here because we're gonna play Vivian either way. Close your eyes. Breathe. And listen to the I'm actually tempted to kill this guy. Wow, this is an aggressive deck. That is unbelievable. 
I thought Registar was gonna really just uh, do the do the do the deed here. Drake's times two sounds good. Take out Woodland Champion. Take out Blood for Bones. I mean, they were living the dream, but we also lived a similar dream with Reggie into Vivian Reed. Vivian Arcbow Lady. Guys, it's Reginald again. Rotting Reginald. Oh, that's good. Do we play Thief? We gotta play Reginald first, right? We can, we can afford a card here. I feel like we can actually discard the Howling Giant here because we have a lot of ways to get things back. Okay, well now we can discard. Yep, this is what we were afraid of. Yeah, board is still looking pretty good. Oh, double diamond knights. That guy can't even block? Fascinating. What's even happening right now? Now Reggie doesn't even matter. Is Dino betraying us? We yeah, no, we have, we've discarded like two lands and a howl, and a howl, howling giant, which is totally fine. Opponent is at three. How many? How many cards? Three. And we've also drawn three extra with audacious thief. So it's like, I mean. No blocks. <laughs> Reggie looks so cute when he's napping. All right, seven seven seems good. Can we get a pulse? Pulse would be sick. How about a how about a bone splinters? I don't know what they're doing. They're just highlighting a bunch of cards here. Come on, buddy. Sure. Oh, Cerulean Drake is interesting. What? This guy just got through again? What is even happening right now? T 
Tim, I did get your email. I have not responded to it, as you know. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Well, I didn't respond to your email. Did you know that? No. No. Yes. Their deck seems very good. They made some soft home plays last game, but nevertheless. Well, this time I'm not just going to be so brazen as to attack into this guy. Oh, I want... Oh, boy, you can go. I'm going to keep you, though. Because we already have six mana. God, first strike is such a beating on this guy. Maybe they attack with it, though. Oh, it's a diamond tonight. Look at these artifacts, man. And ironically, like, they have di two diamond knights, but they haven't cast a single colored spell since. Got it. Oh, the double damage. That Oh, no, it's only, only triggers once. I got real excited for no reason. Next time we get to Agent of Treachery, that's pretty cool. Yep, had a feeling you'd do that. Seems okay. Skittering Scamperinos. I accept. 
Okay, I'll take three. They're at nine Arena. So they have to block at least one of these guys. Thanks to the odd shape of water dispenser, I realized that I was filling up my glass with fridge pee. I can't unthink it and now I've done it. What is it? fridge? Oh, oh God. Oh God. What's the, who are you blocking? So it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, we're for sure stealing Raptor. I'm not going to give them two flyers and we're at eight. I've been down that road before. guy's getting real sizable yeah that's a card I'm not thrilled about I see him block here block here maybe block here take three We could be dead here. They have two cards, though. I don't know what's going on right now. I don't know what's happening. Oh, nothing. Oh, wow. That's going to... Oh wow, that's that changes things. If we alpha, they just go block, block, block. They take three. Oh, we could actually alpha with this guy and then pulse him back. That seems pretty good. Yep.
got it. Yeah, I feel like the six life and the extra creature would probably do that. We could have also played it last turn and just got a guy back. Hmm. No blocks. Oh, wow, just a concession. Okay. Weird games. So we're at 3-0. That's pretty good. Pretty, pretty, I guess we could just see the meme. Pretty, 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 pretty good. No. Yes. God, I hate putting Agent of Treasury on the bottom. But I think we have to here. We have no blue. So, eh, we have double blue, actually. I wanna put I'm gonna put Swamp on the bottom. Yeah, this is risky. We need to hit one land, but I believe in us. I'm also definitely gonna cycle this if they play a guy. They did not play a guy, and now we get pen we get punished. Wow, it's so greedy, so greedy. That was so greedy. Well. It's not ideal, but I'll take it. Have you seen your streams? Yeah, I know. Your your point is valid. Do you have another river brine? Wow, the double brine born brine born cutthroat deck, huh? I'm just gonna play this guy. We'll see. We'll see if this Agent of Treachery actually wins us the game at some point. The old triple pattern marcher deck. Wow, that's fantastic. No, boy. What's my go-to dessert? It's a good question. Wow, an unsummon, huh? I would have probably waited to play the other cutthroat, but what do I know? Go-to dessert. It's probably chocolate something. I feel like they're doing much better than we are. Yeah, they have nine power on board. We go to five. Yeah, we can't beat that. Not ideal. All right. Well. Ein is Arid Ache. <laughs> Where did the where did the first letters go? I don't think we care about any of these cards to be honest. Why does it keep unapplying my styles? Sure. 
sure. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I go to dessert all the time. That's why I'm overweight. Wow. <laughs> this is fantastic. We're having a good time. This is the most aggressive sanitarium skeleton you'll... I need to... I need to my, my head is killing me, dude. Brian Bourne cutthroat me, brah. Here it is. Oh, here's my bridey boy. Oh, yes. Yeah, I wouldn't count those as desserts either. I think those are just sweets. Yeah, we didn't attack with this guy because they could easily just play this. And we didn't bone splinters with a skeleton because they could easily just have the second Brian Bourne cut third in hand. So, Super Fritz, have a good afternoon, buddy. Sailor might actually kill that guy. Actually, probably gonna kill that guy. Or we just tap that guy down, kill the other dude. more land we can actually steal this guy I guess this seems fine. Okay. Are you hoping to dodge cleansing? Planar cleansing? It's a two for three. I guess it's not terrible. Oh, man. Take me by the blams, but a little bit loud. So should be a Got him. I feel like our deck has not been. Uh, outclassed by any of these other decks. I think even like even the really really good decks we've been holding you now for crying out loud. And they have to block these two, right? Because if they block, they can't let a four and a two get through. So they have to block both fours. Unsummon your own air elemental. That's good. Must be nice. Thank you. Oh. 
How why? Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Welcome back. Sure. Oh, cancel that. Oh, boy. I feel like we're in a, a position where attacking is profitable for us. We could trade eventual war chief for an heirloom until we're at 22, so. Pretty good. Oh, I am going to love tearing this place to the ground. I'd get out of the way if I were you. See what you got. <sighs> yep, I had a feeling you go three three on two two. Go to one here. Well, even sanitarium skeleton is lethal now. Sure.
fire cleansing? Sure. Seems good. Yep, that's great. Nine lands. Just fantastic. These drafts are so long. I'm already on round five. In a regular draft, I'd be on three and done. Seems fine. Boy, these rares. That's a blue source super dice here. Ugh. Like super tired for some reason. Either way, this is a great start from them.
Oh, well, that's aggressive. I will not block this guy. Oh, boy. Whoop, cancel. <laughs> That's not the guy we care about. Any, any plans to do more with the goals? Not really. Like, I, I can never... Like, I play so many decks that I have I never make plans to, like, do more with a specific deck. <sighs> oh, sorry, guys. It's fine. I got forest for days to get rid of. A gift would be nice, and we can play this dungeon, guys. Halfway there, I guess. Oh, we're at five already? That's pretty good. Man, this dude's a real piece of work. Knight of the Ebon Legion is no joke. Yep, that's pretty good. I think we're dead. Crying out loud. Well, we'll fight. We'll put up the fight. That's not going to do it. All right. Like, we're... Mm. Like, we'd have to either double lock here or we take three, four, five, six. If they draw land, it's seven. Well, that was un... I don't know that word. I don't know what I was going to say there. Unproductive? No. Might just want another two drop. <sighs> God. Oh yes, that's a good one. Because now we have Dungeon Geist online. A rat colony deck and a persistent petitioner deck? That's pretty interesting. Okay, well, I'm just tapping this guy down forever then.
Maybe not forever, but for as long as I can. I feel like you're zoned out a bit much for only two hours into the stream. I mean, it doesn't have anything to do with how long I've been streaming. It has to do with when I started streaming. I was a little bit tired, so. I also had a headache. I, I just didn't sleep well, so. I don't know. Have you ever farted so that you died and then came back to life? I, I don't think I don't think I ever have. But I I don't think that's a kappa for you. I think you actually have done that. That's my thought. Okay, well. And we're done. Little Scoochie, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. We really appreciate it. Welcome back. Shut up and take my money. Get in the zone, auto zone, Buck. It's pretty good. I'm now going to agent of treachery this. Oh yeah, the blood for the blood for bones is going to be great on this agent of treachery for sure. I can have this. Yeah, he's not gonna. He's not gonna give me give, give a guy's back. That's weird that they keep double green and a black up instead of one of each. I feel like we're pretty far ahead in this game.
Well, I guess we're going to five here. Well, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, there's only one thing in their graveyard, and I'm not super concerned with it right now. I'm uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> well, that's actually pretty good. can't fight so I guess we're just gonna put my, my. Yeah, that seems good how you've grown. my my how you've grown That's right, little kitty cat. That's right. Okay, I'll take a life here. YouTube. What's going on, buddy? Xanra Lord. And we won that game. Alright. Well, we're not dead yet. Um, I think we're still fine. Sweet Beats is right.
Yeah, my head is killing me right now. I'm gonna take some ibuprofen after this. Am I alright? No, I just said my head's killing me. Gosh. It's like you're not even listening. Oh, uh, actually, this hand seems good. We can't play this skeleton, but we do have a lot of mana, so we have all our colors. This is a keeper. Okay, that's enough land, though. I'm good. I'm good on the lands. The Mike Arnold, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. There's a delay. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. This is an easy block. Our guy's so much worse than theirs. Sure. It looks like we're not dead yet. And of course the dryer was just started, so I'm gonna shut the door. Don't care about don't care about either of these really. I mean I, I do care about the agent, but we do need a second blue, but I think we're okay. They're also missing quite a few land drops here. Can we just play 3-3? Three, three? Hold on, there's a... I have no idea. Whether I just play a 3-3 three, three here. Eh, it's got pro black, we'll just play skeleton. I think the value we can get out of this later is probably better, especially when they have, like, a lot of big Shut up and take my money. fat idiot. Two Sultai Schmeckles. <laughs> Appreciate it. You know what? Just for those Schmeckles, we're going to throw some throw some Arena Codes into the chat so you guys can enjoy these bad boys, courtesy of Wizards of the Coast. Yeah, I thought that too. I was like, oh, I thought you were getting rid of protection forever. I hope you guys are picking these up. I mean, this is a fine trade, I'm pretty sure. And now I'll trade with this guy, too, because I don't want to, like... Yeah, I'm okay with this. One, two, three, four, five. Also, any blue source agent of treachery is fantastic. Let's 
seems fine. Now I'm probably just going to play this guy. What are these Cody boys for? They're MTG Arena codes for packs of M20. So enjoy. I mean, we're, we're significantly advantage here that our opponent is drawing no lands, but we are also drawing a good number of lands. That is uh that is a thing. And it looks like we're gonna have a seventh game, is it? I was the second gunman on the grass. Wow, that's a that is a that is a bold confession to make on a on a recorded stream. I hope the authorities uh, understand what Kappa means when they take you in, my friend. Shut up and take my money. One more schmeckle because I forgot to pay for the processing fee. <laughs> so many schmeckles. So little time. I think we're just taking they're just taking the Griffin. I don't care about the stupid ancestral blade. Gorging Vulture. Herald of the Sun in the trash can. Aerial Assault in the trash can. Um, so if they block the two biggest guys, they take one, two, three, four. So they actually don't have the luxury of not blocking Sanitarium Skeleton or Griffin, so... I was the fourth gunman on the grass now. We had a lot of gunmen there. Wow, that's... <laughs> that's something right there. No reason to play netcaster here if they do have i guess they can't even have planar cleansing the background of this card is a dragon getting stabbed in the friggin neck look at it okay i appreciate that All right, we got one more round. Wow, we're already at two minutes, two hours and 11 minutes. These drafts take so much longer than regular drafts. Regular drafts are like an hour and 11 minutes. They take like an hour and a half longer than regular drafts. It's They're so long because you get so many games, but I do like the number of games you get. Oh yeah, that's a keeper. All right, last round.
Oh, little tutu. I wish we had more ways to make tokens in our deck. Our deck still seems very good. Okay, okay. Another black, another white deck. Oh wow, look at what's going on here. You got Vigilance? No, then we ain't going anywhere. 2-6 is pretty big. That's frustrating. That's frustrating. Turns out it wouldn't have mattered, I guess. Wow, this 2 6 is really going the distance here. I'm impressed. If we go 1 2 3, yeah, we can gift and then Octo Profit. But then we can't triple block this guy. And I'd rather just triple block here because they have one card in hand. Oh, yes. 1 2 3 4 5. So, yeah, we're definitely getting rid of the Swamp and keeping the Howler. Yes, just resolve it. God. Man, Daybreak Chaplain dot deck over here. So God, I can't pull some rouse like a planeswalkers. One, two, three, four, five, six. Block them. I was using people play a ton of bad cards until those bad cards beat me, and then I'm mad. And I'm like, but how? I do not understand. What has happened to me? <sighs> yep. Thank you, do. Okay, they literally killed the, the worst of the three creatures. And now they have no cards in hand. I accept. Well, this is problematic because we can't really get around to 2-6. We just need to find like a Bone Splinter or something. Look at all this lifelink, man. This is unbelievable. Well, I guess it's use it or lose it. I 
Mike is nowhere near as stealthy or crafty to be Jack the Ripper, unfortunately. You got it. Oh my god. <laughs> my god. Oh lord. Yep, no attacks. We'll just keep passing the turn, I guess. Can I get an agent of treachery or a bone splinters? Apparently not. Well, we're just going to keep playing, guys. What's been your favorite deck in the new standard? I have no idea, to be quite honest with you. Actually, you're not going in. Maybe you're all going in. All the things that can deal with their things. Yep, that's that was what we figured, but we get rid of this guy, which is totally fine. Sure. Oh, uh, Badger, I'm not sure actually. I wasn't. Why not the 4 6? Uh, I don't, I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. Does it really matter on this board? Because there's a lot going on, that's why, and I'm trying to pay attention to chat. Man, my kingdom for an overcome. No, oh, yeah, there you go. It's now six days until I start moving house. Not started packing yet. Uh, six days is a good amount of time. I think you can still do it. It's going to take some hunkering down, though. Reginald! Reginald, wonderful to see you, Reginald. Alright, so we're just going to actually play all the things and hope we can just empty our hand here. Let's see if we can get some, some things happening. Some things going. Okay, that's a trade.
Uh huh. Oh, double block. Okay. Ooh, single block. Oh, double block. Okay. Uh, two two fire one three. I think it's actually more important to kill the one three here. Eh, it doesn't matter there. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to get rid of that next turn. But Reginald is actually a powerful wizard right now. Yeah, sure. Resolve, resolve your trigger. And turns out they're just as good at top decking as we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Still seven lands on our fifteen card deck. Jesus. Uh, I think we're still at no attacks because of this this angel. He murdered Reggie in the face. He did. He did indeed do that. Oh yes, Sanitarium Skeleton, boys. Game's over. Jeez, how many... I feel like I played against five Pattern Marchers in this single draft. This is unbelievable. Oh good, another... Another Angel of Vitality. Wow, this is aggressive. That was a weird, that was a weird attack. Okay, well. You're a weird attack. God dang. It's a hell of a game. Oh boy, that's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. What are we getting, Reggie and Howling Giant? Uh, choose a creature, return to the battlefield. Let's get Howling Giant back. Let's get Reggie back. So we have, so we can play Reggie. Get Skeleton back. Play Skeleton. Play Forest. That felt like a pretty good card to draw there. Blood for bones. We got so many bones. gonna play it oh also this guy got bigger dang one two three
Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> sure. This card's uncommon, right? Just want to make sure this is an uncommon, not a not a common. Sometimes I get confused. I mean, every every chance they gave me to block a 4-4 four four with my 2-3, I'm okay with it. This is getting really strange. Guess I got a discard. Alright, well, I feel like we're winning this game. Unless they're sandbagging a planar cleansing. Sure, you got it. Is that a second duress? One, two, they have three duresses in their deck? Holy shit. Yep, that was just game one. I'm gonna bring this overcome in here. Actually, I mean, like, it's weird because they're they have three duresses. I think manifold key actually could be again. It's yeah. All right, we're gonna bring these two in. We're gonna take out the blade brand. I'm gonna take out a land. Seems fine. Keep seven on the draw. We have no spells, so if they duress us, it's actually great. We have all the lands. Daybreak Chaplain. I saw that coming. Yikes. Um, yeah, we'll attack. If you want to trade here, that's totally fine. Oh, someone say pack codes? I love pack codes. Sure. It worked. Got him. Dang it, he did get me. 
What a trickster. So your moment of heroism now. Oh, uh, it's actually it's ten per account, I believe. So I'm gonna keep keep tossing them out to you guys. Oh, blade brand. Okay, sure. Wow, that's insane. Congratulations. That was bonkers. I mean, it's a, it was actually a three for three, right? Oh, it was a two for three because they drew a card off Blade Brand, so. But they have no other way to gain life here, so I'm okay with that, I guess. That still doesn't put you to 25. Oh, it does put you to exactly 25 because you gained two extra. Fuck me. That's unfortunate. Actually, I feel like it should have been Scuttlemutt because we want another blue source. We would have taken more damage with them. We can steal this next turn, which makes it... I guess we have two turns. A Gift of Paradise would be nice. Actually, we also do get to drop them. Oh my god, come on, dude. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> still looking for a still looking for a blue source here. One, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, four, five. Gift of Paradise does not do it. Actually, nothing does it now because, well, no. Wow, that would have been great last turn. Unfortunately, we can't top deck like Soul Salvage over here. Because this guy blocks here, but then we don't actually have a way to deal with the 2-2. Two -two.
his hand's terrible. I mean, if this Audacious Thief can get a swing or two in. Also, Dungeon Geist seems great in this matchup. So does Netcaster Spider, so... Why did I block there? Jesus, God. I'm just so tilted right now. Interesting. Okay, well, now I feel much better about uh, bone splintersing this. Jesus. Interesting. Would have loved to land there, but I guess that's too much to ask for. I mean, they have three cards, we have like six. So if we can actually stabilize here, I feel good about our... Yep, that is fine at this juncture. I too can blade brand. What do we have? Oh, give me one second, guys. I gotta. Gotta answer this.
Okay, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I was uh, asking about my car. One, two, three, four, five. So, I mean, we just play dungeon, guys. Tap this guy down forever. They have nothing. I'm, I think we just win this game. Yeah, so after this, I'm going to go walk down and grab my car, and uh, I will be back later tonight. I'll see if Mike wants to go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll see if Mike wants to join, and we can do a little co-op stream later. Oh, the watch links update, they actually called me yesterday and they were like, hey, we got your watch links in. So I got real excited to go, gr go to go get the watch links, but then I realized my car was not with me. I was like, I dropped my car off, so. So that was my watch link story. Is that like, I got super excited about being able to go get my watch links and uh, then I could not do it because I did not have my car. Are you going to stream you picking up the car? Probably not. Probably not going to do that, but... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's fine. We have blood for bones. Peace out. This is a 5-1. This is pretty good. 6-1? 5-1? I don't know how many rounds this is. I think it's 5 wins, 2 losses. I think that's what we're looking at here. This deck was pretty sweet. Let's claim them prizes. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out. This is a sponsored draft by Wizards of the Coast. Thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on Twitch on Patreon, patreon.com slash franklapore. If you guys don't want to subscribe, if you guys don't want to support the channel by spending $5 a month on Twitch, which you should because it's a great deal and it helps me out, you can go to Patreon, spend like a dollar or two dollars a month. It's just a good, uh, it's just a good, it's just a good way to support the content you guys consume. And uh, if you're on YouTube, definitely subscribe there. I will see you guys soon. Check out manatraders.com. They have a great deal. You can find the link and promo code in my description along with coolstuffinc.com. Check all those things out. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.